I'm Chris Berman. Ahead on ESPN, we'll get a look at maybe the only guy around that can make a 94 catch season look like an off year. That's five time Pro Bowler Marvin Harrison. Giants, Colts. It's go time. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi there, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the RCA Dome. My good buddy Peter O'Keefe is with us, and Peter, the story of this one has to be the battle at the receiver position. Well, Dan, when you have two great receivers on the field, you know it's going to be exciting. Marvin Harrison is, for my money, the top wide receiver in the game today. His superior agility enables him to turn on a dime and carve through the defense on his way upfield. <laughs> on the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Amani Toomer is a very gifted receiver. He uses his remarkable speed to burn defenders and make big plays. I'll tell you what, Dan, both these guys have potential to light it up today. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. I choose tails. It's heads. Home, kicking off for the Giants. There's the signal, it's and we're ready. Holmes boots the opening kickoff. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. First the Colts ten, will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. it in right side and is well past the markers for a first down. James carries it past scrimmage and it picks up eight yards on the play. Sam Veteran James sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Peter, those were some nifty moves to get free. In that matchup, he doesn't even need to dig down that deep to pull Second it off. And one. Second down, one Ball yard to go. Five yard line. Leopard, leopard. Down. Back. James gets the call again and passes the line. One man to beat. The 30. Eventually tackled at the 29. That will bring up first down. Edwin James sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 34 yards on two carries. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. James carries it for a third time in a row and takes it upfield. Eventually runs out of bounds at the three. It'll be first and goal. Edrin James works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. He gets another call, and he's carried the offense on his shoulders for these last three plays. Hey, until it stops working, there's no reason to look elsewhere. Well, Dan, both pass and run are viable, but I wonder if we'll see the quarterback sneak here. Dilger didn't Passes haul incomplete. that one in, and it falls Ken incomplete. The Ken Dilger tried to snag Number that one across the middle, the but it doesn't happen. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Hathon goes in motion. 
Manning. Right foot and out left side and Passes it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. 31 with the deflection. Phillips makes a Passes play on this one and forces the incompletion. The that will bring up fourth and goal. Phillips swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Mike no Vanderdeck. No fourth three. down, goal to, to go. Peyton Manning holding. Vanderjack from 20 yards and they take the lead. Mike Vanderjack has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. There's the signal, and we're ready. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. The Giants offense takes the field and they will start at their own 20 yard line. <laughs> Collins gets some air under this pass and it's First complete down, at Giants. the 45 and he's stopped right there. First down. I kill you. Almost bobbled this one away, but manages to keep possession. Way to keep your cool. Peter, how's that for a way to start for a receiver? First pass out of the gates is a bomb, and he gets under it to make the catch. Oh, you got to love it. Make the defense a little off guard from the get-go. First and 10. Ball at the Giants, 45-yard line. Barton takes his first carry of the game and chews up about four on the play. Tiki Barber is one of those prototypical backs, 5'10", 200. This running back comes with all the fixings. He can deke out defenders, spin out tackles, and even run some over. Second down, Second two five. wide outs on the field. Ball at the Giants, 49-yard line. Peterson penetrates and stops that back at the 48. Mike Peterson targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And boy, that was an excellent job of staying with his man, that time to make a good tackle. Yeah, it looked like the skate drill in practice. You keep your feet moving, zone in, and make the play. Perfectly done. Burris makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Jeff Burris swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Maynard takes the snap and punts it away. The Colts offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Throws right up the middle and gains about three yards. Number 99 with the tackle. What the counter? Second and seven. Ball at the Colts 23-yard line. Manning gets all of his arm into this pass. And the reception's made at the 40. Finally stopped at the 48. It will be first down. James gets the call on first down and maybe picks up one on the play. Second down from the eye. Manning throws a heater right sideline, and the reception's made at the 37. Touchdown! Touchdown, Colt!
man and lays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively ran with the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. Peter, that's his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so far, he's got 93 yards and one touchdown. Now the extra point, and the extra it's point good. is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Vanderjad booms a beauty here. Barber downs this in the end zone for a touchback. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. That's good work out there, All right, man. all right, yeah. The Giants stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Hilliard goes in motion. Washington sacks him back at the 17. Marcus Washington nails his man behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, yeah, that's a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice set. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Right down at the 18. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Mike Hilliard had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's his first drop of the game, yeah, and while cool. every drop That's does hurt, ball. you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Maynard lines up to punt after the three and out. Maynard gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Wilkins fields the deep punt at the 33. Tackled at the 47. Terrence Wilkins returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Colts offense takes the field, and they are already halfway there. They'll start at their 47-yard line. James gains three yards, and that brings up second down. And that'll do it for That's quarter number quarter. one. The Colts enjoying the lead 10 to nothing. Throws this on the rope, and the reception's made at the 36. Hunted down at the 31. That will bring up first down. Peyton Manning makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you've got it. So far, he's got 112 yards and one touchdown. First down from the shotgun. James will get the carry on first down and gains about three yards. Phillips with the tackle. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Wipers it out left side, and he connects at the 17. He's in for the touchdown. Jerome Payton has hands to make the catch, but he's also got legs. Watch. 
There's the grab. And now the run. It's all about desire, baby. How bad do you want it? Great effort to get him into the end zone, Peter. Yeah, that's how to play the game. 110%. As you can see, he's up over the century mark. Oh, he came to play today. Here's the point after, and the extra it's good. point is good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Vanderjat booms a beauty here. Runs out for a touchback. The Giants have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Mitchell catches the hard throw, and Number that's good for six. Pete Mitchell Jeff had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and four. Ball at the Giants, 26-yard line. Barber will get the carry on second down, and will end up losing a couple. Mike Peterson was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Dan. But if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it is him. This one will fall incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Joe Jurevicius had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Maynard takes the long snap and punts it away. Heals the punt at the 34. Stopped at the 36. Terrence Wilkins got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Colts have yet another shot at scoring and are in command. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their 36-yard line. James punches this one left of center and picks up a couple. Edger and James used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. Second It'll be eight. second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Manning uncorks this to the left sideline, and incomplete. it's not reeled in. Marvin incomplete. Harrison the Marvin receiver. Harrison went to the outside on that last play. Had some room, but couldn't make the catch. Incomplete. That's the third incompletion his Let's way, Peter. Yeah, he's today. starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. 38-yard line. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Catches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Peyton Manning plays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. Again, a nice medium pass. He's been concentrating on those connections a lot today. Yeah, it's a nice range. Gets you some good yards, but it's not so far out that you're not in total control of the situation. Manning rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's caught at the 32. And he's stopped right there. It will be first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. 
As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Yeah, you see this right here? All right. Feel this? All right. I had hurt. Right there, right there. Just. You're gonna be all right, man. You're gonna be all right. Let me help you. Come on. Come on. You gotta get. Come on. I need you. You gotta get back to us. You want to go? We gonna be all right. Second and five. Ball at the 27. I got 18. 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 James has his number called on second down and barely picks up the first down. Edron James played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Tracks him down, oh, gets the sack, the sack, and the clock continues to run. Second top. and 19. Down. Ball at the 30 yard <laughs> Manning throws a bullet to the flat, and Passes it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Thomas, Thomas came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Ball at the 30 yard line. Number 16 falls in the pass and that's not enough he's short of the markers it'll be fourth down fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field Vanderjat from 30 yards out and it's through the uprights. Mike Vanderjat puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Vanderjat rockets this one deep. Dixon downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Giants need to score here before half to have a chance later. They'll start at their own 20 yard line. Barber picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Stevens was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I got in touch with the team doctor, and apparently he's suffering from a pulled bicep. He's currently getting iced down on the sideline here, and unfortunately, he seems to be in substantial pain. His return is questionable. Guys? Back to you. Thanks, Susie. Barber takes it for his fifth carry and picks up a couple. And that'll That's do it the for the, the first half quarter. of this one. The Colts in command of this one, 20 to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I'll tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Colts are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Edger and James is going to take this one right off the gut. Look at the burst as he busts into the secondary. There he goes. That set up a no-brainer 20-yard field goal. The Colts strike first and go up by three. Giants midway through the first. Kerry Collins would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Colts towards the end of the first quarter. Colts winning by three. Jerome Payton came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. They move ahead by 10. 
the Colts later in the second, Jerome Payton found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. A 28-yard touchdown for the Colts. Colts up 17 to nothing. Peyton Manning connected with his man on this one. That set up a 30-yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Colts are up at the half, 20 to nothing. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Jerome Payton has been unstoppable. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Giants will get the ball first here in the second half, and they are going to need a bunch Mike of Bradley scores to get back into Colts. this one. Currently, they're down 20 to nothing. Let's get down to the field and the action. Dixon decides to take it out of the end zone. Drag down at the 19. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. There's the numbers, Dan, and you can see that they are struggling. They need to start simple, just you know, string a few plays together, and then use that momentum to build your drives. Let's see what happens. We've got a quick update from ESPN's very own Susie Kalber. Susie. Thank you, Dan. Head coach Tom Coughlin clearly was upset about his team's performance in the first half. He said, this is not the way we'd hope to start this game. Offensively, we just haven't been getting it done. It's a gut check. We want this win. We've got to come out and play a lot harder and a lot smarter in the second half. Back to you, Dan. Susie, thank you. Toomer didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Number 21 anticipated that they would go deep and outside on that last one and covered the play perfectly. Because of him, incomplete. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down, down coming up. Collins unloads this one to the left, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Amani Toomer almost bobbled this one away, but manages to keep possession. Way to keep your cool. Definitely a slow start, but he's finally got a completion. And maybe now, Peter, he has time to make his mark on the game. Well, where was he in the first half, Dan? Because I, I didn't notice him on the field at all. First down from the shotgun. Harbour loses about three, and that will bring up second down. Mike Peterson not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. That's his third tackle of the game. <laughs> Collins throws a pillar to the flat, and it's off incomplete. Greg Pamela had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. He couldn't hold on to that one, and maybe that's why they don't throw to him that often. No, he's more of a runner than a target out of the backfield. Number 29 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Maynard gets ready to punt this away. Formation. Number 80 to make the return. Maynard gets the snap and punts it away. Wilkins takes it at the 20. Drag down at the 24. Terrence Wilkins got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there. By the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. Colts will start this drive at their own 24-yard line. James gets past the line and gains about three yards. Edwin James is taking it up the middle and battling that defense head on. And you know what, Dan? He's winning that battle. Look at the numbers here. So far, he's got 86 yards on 11 carries. Hey, hey, Second out, and seven. Hey, out, Ball at the Colt, 27-yard line. 
Manning just right with this one and gets caught at the 32. Right down at the 34. With the tackle. Jim Finn made the catch without any challenge from the defense, and he took advantage of it. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Third down and less than a yard. James gains eight yards, and that will bring up first down. Edger and James sticks to his blockers like a kick-me sign as he runs the football. Well, <laughs> that's a pretty vivid description, but I'll tell you, it works. And the play works, too, as he surges across the line for a big game. Yeah, it's all about using your blockers, Dan. They clear a path, you use the path. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. Manning rifles it out left side, Which and it falls incomplete. They're icing it a bit right now, but it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Dan? Thanks, Susie. I see counter. Second I and see 10. Counter. Ball at the Colts, 42 yard line. Leopard, Leopard, Leopard. Down! Jones back! Jones James chews Edger up four James yards, and carrier. that will bring up third down. Sean Williams with the tackle. Come on, Colts, let's get the first down. Step third up, down, James. one man back. back. Ball at the Colts, 46 yard line. Pitch it up, goal 44. Pitch it up, goal 44. James will take the handoff and heads left. Stopped at the 49. Williams with the tackle. Fourth down coming up. Sean Williams made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's tackle number six for him. Good game so far. Definitely. Smith lines up for the punt. Smith gets the snap and punts it away. The Giants stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at the own 20 yard line. Collins puts his arm into this one, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Mike Hilliard had a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. First down, three wideouts in the game. No dice, and it falls incomplete. With the deflection. Nope, nothing. Second and 10. Ball at the Giants, 39 yard line. Collins uncorks this to the left sideline and it's intercepted. And touchdown! Mike Peterson picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. They score again, and they are starting to pull away here. Yes, they are, Dan. They've got a nice pad now. If they stay focused, this game is theirs. <laughs> now the extra point, and The extra it's point good. is good. And we're set. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick.
The Giants' offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 20-yard line. Barber has his number called on first down and rambles for about five. Second and five. Ball at the Giants, 25-yard line. Collins throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Harry Collins demonstrated his arm strength back there with a solid cross-field pass. Peter, that was another pass out to the left. He's definitely favoring that side of the field. A lot of his primary reads have been there, and if he's connecting, nobody's going to mind. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Colts in command of this one, 27 to nothing. Third down, four yards to go. It's intercepted. And he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Colt. David Macklin picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the model for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. Now the point after, and the extra point it's is good. good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Vanderjad rockets this one deep. Dixon downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Giants have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Collins sings it to the right side, and the ball's loose, and he stopped right there. <sighs> Number 21 delivers a punishing blow to the ball carrier there, and he gives up the football for the fumble. Great hard-nosed defensive play. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely. Coach Coughlin doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. Hey, we want a challenge. New York Giants is challenging whether the player had possession prior to the fumble. This is their All first right. challenge of the game, and okay. even if they lose right. this one, they still have one challenge left. Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. Well, it doesn't look like he had possession, Dan. I call After it review, an incompletion the and overturning. The, pass. the receiver did not have possession of the ball prior to the fumble. New York Giants will not be charged a timeout. Second down. Yeah. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. We're bringing it home. Second and ten. Ball at the Giants, 20 yard line. Collins throws a heater, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Gary Collins has had difficulties, to say the least, and now he's second-guessing everything he's thrown. Terrible day. So far, he's struggled to get 69 yards and two interceptions. Seems like you're running slow motion, Hillard. Quinn! Quinn! 
down! Good, good, good! Hey. Hilliard catches it in the flat, and he's well short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. For some reason, slides down, and he's short. They'll turn the ball over at the 28th. The Colts offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at the 28-yard line. James picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Edger and James played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Ball at the 22-yard line. Let's learn! Let's learn! Show back! Show back! Too often! Boo! James carries this off his left tackle Edger and, and picks up a couple. Philip Edger and James stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. Yard line. James has his number called on third down, down and gets well past the markers for a first. Oh, you guys, you gotta pick this up. Edwin James took advantage of some really good blocking there. They opened up a hole. And he's able to cross the line and get a bunch more without uh, really much resistance. And that's what the O-line gets paid for. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. Cruises out to the left side and rambles for about five. Watch the counter. Second the and counter. five. Counter. Ball at the Go seventh. Second down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. James carries it yet again and heads out right. The Giants take their first time out. Third down, two tight ends in the game. Ball at the three. Larry, Larry, Larry! And he's in for the touchdown! Touchdown, This is a nice short yardage run here, Dan. When push comes to shove, you want to be able to get the yards you need. And as you can see, they got it. Another touchdown, and this lead is insurmountable with the clock ticking away. Domination, Dan. Domination. Here's the point after, and the extra it's point good. is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Vanderjat booms a beauty here. Dixon downs this in the end zone for a touchback. After the game, let's go on that new ESPN football game. All right, man. Cool. Okay. Let's <laughs> do this. Let's do it. Pass. 
The Giants start this drive of the game from well.